Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. Our Christmas gift to you this year is the 12 days of Waxmas. You're gonna be getting a new video from us every day now up until Christmas day. So I really hope you enjoy the videos. And as always guys, take care. Hi everybody, this is Rhys Barber from Audiology Associates. Welcome to day 10 of the 12 days of Waxmas. We're nearly at the end now. So you can see this patient's got some very, very deep seated wax. Uh, patient works with a lot of fine dust, so the wax itself is very, very hard and very deep seated. Now, wax doesn't normally appear this deep in the ear canal, um, so the patient is a self confessed Q tip or cotton bud user. Um, so it's pushed this wax very, very deep. Has been using a bit of olive oil to try and loosen this up on advice from the GP, um, but it's so hard uh, and, and so deep, it just hasn't migrated out. Always very difficult to remove wax this deep in the canal, especially a really hard piece like this, because you can see it's very, it's pushed right up against the eardrum. It's got that edge around it, which is embedded into that valley. So really difficult to pull this away without pushing it against the drum on the one side. So what we're trying to do is move it from left to right at the moment, just to unhook it from the edge of that valley. So we can, uh, so we can take it, uh, take it away a bit more easily. So we've introduced a little bit more olive oil in here to see if we can loosen this off a little bit more. You can see the olive oil has managed to get down to this piece of wax and it is working around the outside edge, but still quite firmly attached. So really, really jammed in there. Just trying to find anywhere around the edge here. Ah, this, this is the downside of olive oil. Sometimes it'll flick across the camera. So it does make it a little bit more difficult to, uh, to remove then. But we're just working on this left hand side again. As I say, we're trying to pull from the left to the right. You can see a little bit of movement starting to uh, just start into the, 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 the wax blockage there. Slowly pulling this across. You can see it's crumbling. So it's, you can see how dry it is. It's all starting to crumble and break down while it's impregnated with that, uh, that olive oil there. Okay, so I'm just going to stop the video now I just want you to keep an eye on this section here with the arrows pointing watch what happens when we get a bit of movement see that whole section peel away from the canal so what we have is one long strip of dry skin that's why this hasn't been coming away very easily is because we've got this whole strip of dry skin sitting in front of this wax blockage that's um holding it all in place so normally we wouldn't we wouldn't look this for this far back and in fairness i didn't even spot this until it started to move so you can see as we peel away from the side look how much of that dry skin is there so i've had a brain wave if this is sitting just in front of that piece of wax so we can't pull this away if we can hold on to this bit of skin and pull this bit of skin i'm hoping it'll leave this bit of wax out to that corner so crocodile forceps are going to come into play now and we're going to get a grip on this little bit of skin here. So what I want you to do is keep an eye on that section of the wax just there as we pull this skin out. So watch what happens. As we get the clamp on, there we are, and we're going to pull. Keep an eye on that section there. There. See it pulled that corner of the wax away? It's actually twisted the wax and pulled that one section out, which is going to make our life a lot easier now because we've got rid of that... Um, that piece that was actually embedded against the side of the canal wall. We can get a grip on that section now. Just slow this video down so you can see this coming away. So gentle, steady pressure. We can see a glimpse of the eardrum there behind. So we know we've moved it away from the drum now. It means we can move a little bit more, uh, a little bit more movement to this without it causing any problems. So we managed to get to the outer part of the ear canal there. So just back in with the forceps now to get this uh, this blockage just the remainder of the way out. Let's get a good grip there. And out it comes. You can see all the white underneath. That was the, the sort of dry, dead skin there. You can see just how much hair was on the outer part of this ear canal as well. A little lift of dry skin there at the base of the canal. So we're going to use a little bit of suction to try and lift this off the canal. Um, there we go. Just battle our way through the little hairs on the outer part of the ear canal. Just lifting. You can see that whole section lifted up there. Difficult to get a good grip on this now because of the, obviously it's very thin. Um, so we could either use the um, fine end, but we've got the forceps out already, so we might as well use make use of them. We'll just get a grip on this section now and pull. There we go, that bit's gone as well. 
And there's the injury. You can see how red and aggravated, especially on along the hammer bone there, all the blood vessels have come to the surface. So there we are, that's in centimeters. And should be coming up in inches any second. There we are. Well, I hope you enjoyed day 10, and I shall see you tomorrow for day 11. Thank you very much for watching our video today if you did enjoy the video then please like if you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so you can click the subscribe button here if you'd like to check out some more of our videos they're also up there now if you want to follow us you can do on facebook twitter instagram and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us as always guys until the next time take care